Hey YouTube, Red Quill here, and um, we're back for another uh, Dead by Daylight webcomic vlog. This time I'll be going over pages uh, 7 and 8 of my Legion origin story. So, starting with page 7, there are two major plot points I wanted to get across on this page. First, I wanted to have uh, Frank finally don the mask for the first time, the classical Legion mask that's seen in all the promotion material. Then I also want to showcase all the minor crimes that the team is doing. So, starting off with uh, panels one and two, I have uh, Frank donning the mask. And I wanted to make it clear, though, that uh, it's at this point they actually become Legion. And notice how going from panels one to two, Frank's skin tone changes to a normal human skin color as opposed to just the uh, pale white I was using earlier. Now I also make his neck tattoo uh, visible. Granted, it's not truly accurate to the one uh, shown on his model in the game, but you know I gotta simplify it a little bit to make it easier to draw, since I'm gonna be drawing it uh, quite frequently in the story moving forward. So for me, the definitely the biggest challenge of this page was trying to figure out how I could, in a relatively short amount of space, summarize uh, what Legion has been doing, at least in the starting stages, when Frank is first starting to order the members around. I knew kind of early on that at least a, a stylistic choice, that I wanted to have the Legion members uh, being shown in shattered glass with Frank uh, shattering a window of some sort, but the actual placement of things uh, had to change quite a bit uh, from my original design. Although I'm actually really happy with how this turned out, and I like the speed lines effects and the text, uh, uh, the impact text I used for slam and shatter on the panel. Uh, I think it turned out pretty well, and I at least think it uh, simulates the motion of Frank using the bat on the glass. The main reason uh, I was pretty dead set early on on using uh, Frank shattering glass in the design for panel 3 is uh, effectively gave me uh, the ability to just add in additional panels uh, using the glass fragments for the different members of Legion. And also got to enjoy making up little uh, minor crimes for each of the characters, trying to find ones that might match each uh, member's personality. Like, for instance, have Joey uh, doing vandalism with a spray paint can, which the reason I came up with that is his mask, to me, looks like he uh, had spray painted uh, either the cloth or just the black mask he is already wearing. You know, I've actually ne never been really able to tell if he's wearing just like a cloth or if it's an actual mask. But anyway, because it looks like to me he took a black mask and spray painted white on it, I thought uh, he might be a bit artsy and enjoy uh, doing some good old fashioned graffiti. As for Julie, uh, since it, she and her, the little bio we do know of her, she seems to have a very high opinion of herself. I figured she could uh, break into jewelry stores and take whatever jewelry th she thinks she actually deserves. And for Susie, uh, I thought just giving her a... She's still going to do any crime that Frank tells her to do, but uh, she's going to just try and be sneaky and quick about it. So in here, I have her doing a quick uh, purse grab and just running away. She's trying to be a stealth character so to speak so yeah I actually really enjoyed working on this third panel and uh, I hope to kind of continue doing uh, panels like this that have uh, I guess a unique uh, flow about it so now to talk about page 8 I really wanted to have a poster shot more or less for the whole Legion team and where I actually Make sure I get all their uh, clothing details, at least relatively correct. Uh, I realize in the page before this, I kind of took some creative liberties in simplifying it, because uh, 
kind of forgot to mention on page seven, I was a little rushed uh, just because I was having a busy week. But uh, for page eight, I tried to make at least look more closely at uh, the uh, reference models for each of the characters to get their outfits at least uh, more aligned to what they are in the game. It, this was good practice for me to try and work on what realistic poses might be for a uh, group of people. Granted, I I know they look a little stiff, but at, at least it's, you know, I'm learning. I still kind of consider myself a pretty much an amateur when it comes to comics. So I'm hoping over the years, if I keep doing projects like this, I'll get better. The main complaint I have probably for this panel for myself is I don't really like how Frank's, uh, I guess it's his right leg from our perspective, from his perspective, but uh, the his on the panel leftmost leg, uh, where it's, I think it looks a little awkward, but, uh, you know, I, it's something I've, I, I redrew it a couple times and I think it's acceptable how it is, but it's definitely something I hope to improve on both body proportions and just, uh, the different perspectives of limbs. As for, I do like how the backgrounds turned out and, uh, like with the, the bright moon in the background with a little bit of, oh, light fog over a nearly black, uh, sky. And I also, I actually really like how the text turned out, both where I just had the white text over the little blood red I've put up, as well as the, uh, black with white highlights, uh, big text where I finally say, and they were legion. I don't know. Maybe it's a little overly dramatic, but you know, this is meant to be a poster shot. And, uh, as I lead into the, uh, kind of the climax of the story, which is gonna come up soon, which I'm also excited for. And we will talk about on the next vlog. Uh, so thanks for watching. Cause that's probably all I'm going to say for this video, but, uh, until next time, uh, I wish you all a great week, because that's about how long it's going to take me to come up with another video. So, adios!